Video cameras are destroying America. What a weird topic to talk about, especially because I'm using a camera to talk about video cameras destroying America. I know, I know the irony of it and everything else. Don't have to write it in the comments, point out that I'm a hypocrite or something like this. Uh, listen to what I'm saying in the study. Um, there's a lot of problems that video recording has brought in. And uh, some of the things I think we need to come up with a solution to that, and that's why I'm making this video. There are times when you should not use a camera, okay? And specific types of people that should not be using cameras, which we will get to. Of course, any discussion of the problem with modern day video cameras would have to include the selfie generation. The people that just go around and take pictures of everything that they're doing. They don't ever try to conceal anything private. Um, you know, and as a result, they have problems. They put their everything that they're doing on social media just because they want people to like them and whatever else. Um, that's an issue. And then they get robbed and other bad things happen and they say, how did that happen? I wonder how that happened. Well, probably because you're trying to be a TikTok star or Twitter or Facebook or whatever else, you know, I don't, all these new words that they come out with, well, it's X now and it's meta and whatever. Uh, but you know, you have the people that are doing that. Um, I'm on my private property right now. Uh, we have a good amount of land here in Northern Maine, um, but I'm not going to show you every part of my property, especially uh, what we live in. I'm not showing that. I'm not going to just, oh, look, everything here, look at me because I want to be famous or something. Uh, that doesn't work. I have enough sense to not do that. Uh, but a lot of these people, they don't have the sense. And so that's a you know, pretty obvious problem. But I want to get into another problem that is not as obvious, but I think is a lot more dangerous. And you say, what is that? Well, um, another big problem that we have, and this might shock you that I'm going to say this, but um, police badge cameras. Um, I don't agree with that. Oh, but are you saying we shouldn't be protected from the police? Um, to be, if there's a violent police officer or something like this, well, what I'm saying is, uh, I think it's leading to more trouble than it's worth. Uh, let me explain myself here. Um, many years ago, back, I think it was 1993 when I was in my junior year of high school. Yeah, I know, I'm old. Um, not as old as some of you, but uh, I'm still pretty old. But uh, back in my junior year of high school, we had this career day thing, you know, and, and um, I took a class with a police officer, state police officer, and he was telling us about, you know, the police academy and what all you have to do to become an officer, what rules you have to follow, what it's like, you know, and on patrol and crime scene investigation and the whole thing. And uh, I remember he took questions at the end and one of the students raised his hand and he said, uh, what do you think about the show, the TV show Cops? You know, bad boys, bad boys, what you're going to do when they come for you, you know, that whole old TV show. I don't even think it's still around anymore. I stopped watching television a long time ago. But they said, what do you think about the show Cops? And he said, he shook his head and he said, that was the worst thing that could have ever happened to the police department. He said, because of that show, they've outlawed a lot of our tools that we used. They outlawed um, pepper spray, I think it was. They outlawed uh, nightclubs or I forget what they call them, billy clubs or something you know, that have the little handle to the side and go like that. They've outlawed so many different things because people see the videos and they say, oh, that's police brutality. Oh, look at this, it's just terrible how they're beating that poor criminal up and whatever else. They don't understand the life and death struggle, you know, situation there where you have a criminal, <laughs> shots fired. <laughs> you have a criminal, uh, don't worry about it out here in the country, it's somebody target practicing or, taking care of a varmint. Uh, it's a good thing to hear gunshots out here, in other words. Um, but you have a criminal, and he's trying to wrestle with the police officers and get it, the officer's gun so he can shoot the officer with his own gun. Well, you have to do some pain-type compliance, some things to get the guy to stop resisting arrest. You know, and, and of course, uh, oh, there's been bad situations. Of course there has been bad situations, but there's also the situations that are that are completely justified that the police are supposed to use some force there 
to get the person to comply. But you know, in today's culture, oh no, the, the police officer has less rights than the criminal. That's nonsense. That's absolute nonsense and it has to change because it's creating, you know, again, oh, let's try this for a while. Okay, try it, try it, see where it gets the culture. And you try it for a while and all of a sudden you realize, hey, you know what? I think the criminals are getting worse. The criminal crime is increasing. You know, maybe we should go back to the way we used to do it. This new way doesn't work. Oh no, because here in America, we have to follow the evolutionary principle of, you know, we're always getting better. Man gets smarter, man gets better with time. And so you just keep on pushing out there and, and uh, if it's old, it has to be remade and whatever. And what was true yesterday is no longer true today. And just nonsense, it's mental insanity. Um, no, we need to get back to a time where officers are allowed to use force to make criminals comply. And that's just the way it is. So what happens if they go after innocent people? Well, um, I don't believe the Lord's going to allow that, quite frankly. And if he does, then the innocent people can fight back. It's just that simple. But this weird thing now of the police have to wear this badge cam. And it's just turned them into effeminate sissies. Uh, it's disgusting to me. Saw a high-speed chase the one time here, and probably within the last year, and and uh, they pulled this. You know, the guy's running people off the road. He's going over 100 miles an hour. You know, running from the police, and uh, they finally he crashes his car and he gets out and he's running on foot, and um, you know, and and the police officers, they're running after him, chasing him. You know, stop, stop running. You know. Uh, whatever yelling at the guy and things finally get the guy finally catch him and uh, they get him down on the ground and everything and and uh, and then it just they switch and they become these you know soft effeminate little sissies and are you okay is everything all right you, do you need any kind of medical attention can we get you some bottled water I mean literally literally the guy just was running from you the guy was doing committing crime Running people off the road, and now you're worried about him if he's thirsty. I mean, just ugh, disgusting. Showing my son a thing yesterday where some entitled uh, brat, disgusting woman, um, her father told her to get out of the car, and she wouldn't get out of the car and everything else. And, and uh, these officers are there, and they're talking to her, you know. You need to get out or, or you will be arrested. She's just arguing. I, no, I'm not doing that. No, I don't need, I don't think that you have the authority to do this to me. And I just don't think it, blah, 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 blah. You know, please get out of the vehicle. Please get in. And she's interrupting them, you know, and talking them down. And I'm thinking, what is wrong with this country? You know, you're committing a crime. You're doing wrong. You know, but, it, but it's all on camera. He's, Luther spotted a squirrel. He gets a little excited when he sees a squirrel up a tree. But, uh, you know, see, it's, there's no more punishment of sin. And, of course, we have all the crime right now in America where we have these uh, people going into the stores and smash and grab and all this other stuff. And, I mean, they're cleaning out $100,000 worth of merchandise in a matter of minutes. But you don't dare say anything against it, you know, because it could be caught on camera and then you get that going to court and whatever else. Just disgusting. Absolutely disgusting what's going on in this nation. There's no more punishment for sin. There's no more consequences for your actions. It's horrible. And it's only going to end very badly because you have all these entitled brats now and everything. And they're just, oh, I have rights to, for this and rights for that. And they're just making up their own rights. So, um, and you know, security camera footage. You have some guy owns a store. And uh, people come in and they're just robbing the guy. And, and, you know, he takes matters into his own hands and gives the criminal a good beat down or something like that. And goes to court. And you know, I, I just don't think it was right for you to do that. It's kind of vigilante justice. And... You know, I just think you should have just... I mean, it was only stuff that the guy's stealing. It's not worth beating him. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. These wicked criminals need to be beat. They need to know that there's, there's some serious punishment that happens because of their sin. But again, why do you think so many people are not getting saved? Why do you think so many people are turning atheist? Why? Um, 
Very simple. Because there's no consequence. There's no punishment for sin. Oh, weird sound over there. It's a problem. You know? This whole situation. Uh, you know, America's just falling apart. As a result of the thing of cameras. Everybody's being videotaped. Everybody's, you know... Um, you know, just constantly worried about, uh, you know, being filmed and whatever else. You know, I saw this thing here recently where these nutty protesters, greeny protesters were, you know, blocking a road out, going out to that Burning Man satanic festival thing, which is wicked. But, you know, they're out there blocking the state highway and, you know, and this, the uh, rangers or whatever, the tribal police, they come and they, the guy takes his truck and just smashes the, their little roadblock that they had built, this steel trailer, they just smash the thing out of the way. And then the guy gets out, he pulls his gun and he's got it up and he's saying, get on the ground, get on the ground. Ticked off, you know, and handcuffing them, being very rough. And, you know, it's been videotaped, it's all over the internet. More than likely those officers, unless there's good things there, that more than likely they'll get fired. Oh, that was wrong, you shouldn't have done that. You know, and this one stupid environmentalist green lunatic woman, she's there and she's going, it's a peaceful protest, oh, she's screaming, you know, playing wounded woman. <laughs> I mean, it's just so obvious, you know, screaming, oh, we're peaceful, we're peaceful. You, you're blocking a highway. Okay, that's terrorism. There could be people lined up, there was over a mile of traffic lined up, and there could be people in there that have to get to the hospital or that their house is being robbed and they have to get back home quickly or any one of a number of situations. But you're blocking the road, that's a peaceful protest. No, it's not peaceful. That's obstructing traffic, you know. Um, extremely wicked. These people are just so evil. But hey, what do they have? Well, that's right, a bunch of people outside with cameras. And everything that the police officers do, get it on camera, get it on, we can get this on video and we'll put it on the internet and we'll put it on social media. And then you get a bunch of people that don't understand law and order and don't understand how you take care of criminals, have no belief and, and convictions to say, that's a sinner, that guy needs to be punished. And the people, oh, they'll sit there, oh, that's just not right. I think we should contact our senator or congressman and we should call down there and we should complain and say, that guy needs to go to jail. And, uh, you know, uh-huh, yeah. So um, my advice to you, if you're a law enforcement officer, uh, find creative ways for your camera not to work. If you need to take care of some guy, uh, find creative ways to do that without it being on video. I'll get back, I'm sorry, something happened to my camera, it didn't work quite right or something or whatever else. Um, you know, I mean, I have not encountered any nuts like that yet on the road, blocking the road. But I've, you know, you think in your mind, how would you handle it if it came and whatever and, you know. Um, and again, you know, there was some video years, or not years, but a while back, of went viral and whatever, this woman in Germany and she goes up to this just stop oil protesting woman and grabs her by the hair and you know yanks her off the road by her hair and they said that that woman's facing jail time for doing that not the woman blocking the road but the woman that pulled her off the road by her hair that was just oh we can't we can't have that that's just terrible <laughs> you know it's disgusting absolutely disgusting um and i'll just tell you a couple more little stories here um Again, because, you know, this stuff as a Christian, you have to look at this and you have to say, uh, this world is getting crazy. It's going against the scriptures. These people coming out and saying, you shouldn't punish crime. You should let the criminals go and just let them go. It's just they're stealing things, but just let them go. No, because it's just getting worse. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. The hearts of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. Book of Ecclesiastes. And that's the truth. If you don't execute judgment speedily, if you don't stop these wicked people, the problem gets worse. Okay? Uh, it's just that, that's just the way it is. I mean, are we going to get into such a satanic society where we just eventually praise criminals? You know? I mean, we already are kind of there. But uh, I'm saying, do we just get to the point where it's so bad that we say, you know, 
we just won't have police officers anymore or something. And if you're too big of a moron to see the police of a police officer, you know, put it in the comments, oh, I think we shouldn't have police officers. Well, you're an idiot, okay? If you're in some kind of an anarchist or whatever else, you're an idiot, okay? You're not a Christian. Uh, there's men that are supposed to be there to bear the sword of uh, justice. Romans chapter 13. Um, you hold them, men, those men to a very high standard. Um, but whatever. But I remember this one story my father told me, just to kind of further illustrate this point. Back in the old days, before everything was covered with cameras, uh, they had this accident. He went to, drove an ambulance, he was an EMT, and, um, and he picked up this guy, he was a drunk, and they were trying to bandage him up and everything, and he was real hostile and whatever else, and he's, you know, yelling at them, oh, get this stuff off me, don't touch me, you know, whatever. And they strapped him down to the Guernsey, you know, and everything. But he broke the straps. I mean, the guy was just a nut. And they got him to the hospital, getting him out of the back of the ambulance, wheeled him inside the hospital. And there's a doctor there, emergency room doctor, older guy, old school doctor, you know. And this drunk's blankety blank, well, yelling and things and saying, oh, trying to get up. And this doctor grabs him by the ears. I can't do both hands because my other hand's holding the camera. Grabs him by the ears, lifts his head up off the the uh, stretcher there, the Guernsey, or Gurney. Guernseys are cows, not hospital stretchers. <laughs> but he grabs this guy, lifts his head up, and he goes, boom, and slams his head down on the, the Gurney and says, stop it, hold still. Screams right in this guy's face. And this drunk just, you know, just petrified, you know, at the, what this doctor just did to him. And, uh, the doctor looks at my father and he says, you didn't see that. <laughs> and my father just laughed and he said, you have to do what you have to do. And the doctor said, it's the only way to handle a drunk. You get a belligerent drunk, drunk like this, the only way you can handle them was with a little bit of pain compliance. And uh, it worked, it worked. But I guess, you know, in our modern society, he should have been talked to sweetly by a psychiatrist. And what's going on, honey? Can I get you something to drink? Maybe some shrimp cocktail or something, or some petite filet mignon, or or uh, some kind of other thing. Can we? Can, what can we do for you? Where Where are you hurting? <sighs> satanic bunch of nonsense, and I do mean satanic. It is very wicked and very evil. This whole modern movement. But why? Why? What's going on? What's the problem? Because everybody's got a camera, and people are using that those cameras for evil intent. To cover up crime to say we shouldn't uh you shouldn't punish people for their sin that's wickedness that is wrong so here's my advice as i said already um i know that there are police there are law enforcement officers and things that watch this channel guys that are military guys that are police um you need to remember that you have a responsibility according to romans chapter 13 to use the sword uh, of punishment of justice against evil people and um, if you can take care of prisoners without there being cameras on or whatever or audio gets dropped or whatever else you can do um, you need to take care of these guys you can't do take care of it you end up getting fired or whatever else um, and I mean I'm talking real criminals obviously we're we're not talking about somebody that's you know, not really that innocent, you're rough in the mouth and whatever. Well, of course not. You have enough sense to figure that stuff out. Um, but that's one piece of advice. Another piece of advice that I would give to uh, anybody out there, um, private landowners and whatever else, um, don't have cameras everywhere, okay? Um, if you need to take care of a problem on your property, uh, my suggestion is that you do it without a camera being present. Um, why? Well, because, uh, again, trial by jury, which is a just thing, a, a good thing, where you have a jury of your peers, um, that doesn't really work anymore in America, unfortunately. We now have a bad situation in this country where uh, it's more of a trial by liberal news media 
or something. You know, they have these uh, bunch of liberals there that don't know anything at all, and it's all about feelings and emotion. It's not about law. It's not about right versus wrong. You know, um, and so, you know, you don't want to have things all recorded. And um, I have cameras on my property because of the catalytic converter thieves, but they're only in select areas. And the areas where um, I might need to take care of the situation uh, with violent force, those areas don't have cameras. So there will be no, uh, we are subpoenaing, you know, putting a subpoena out there for your, the footage of your video cameras or something. Uh, well, there isn't, a, there aren't any. Just simply like that. You know, at one point in time, hey, you know, record what uh, happens on your property. That's very important. Um, very important to make sure that you're getting it on video and whatever to prove that you're innocent. Well, now, uh, with the way that the satanic mind control of television is going, now you are actually the bad guy. Um, again, uh, workers at stores try to stop somebody from stealing merchandise, they get fired. Uh, why? Because people are atheists. Uh, America's turning into an atheistic heathen nation of people that have no belief in the Bible, belief in right and wrong. They say, uh, well, we can just dictate everything by science and what feels right. Where do, you, do your moral beliefs come from? Well, we don't have any. We've, we've abandoned that. You know, we'll just abandon it and just kind of say, well, we'll let it culturally develop. Uh, no, there are certain things that are wrong, and they always have been wrong, and they will never not be wrong. Thou shalt not steal. Uh, that is a law of God. Nobody wants their belongings stolen, unless you're mentally sick in the head, trying to prove the Bible wrong, and say we're progressive. You know, it used to be wrong to steal people's things, but now we don't feel that way anymore. Well, you're mentally ill. And again, that's part of the civil war that we must wage. We can be civil, be kind about it, be nice about it, but the fact is, we have to just simply say no to that. Just say no to mental, Ill, mentally ill liberals. Uh, that's what we need to do. So, um, you know, that's a solution I believe in. You know, again, I have a neighbor down the road that way behind me, and uh, he has a sign out at the end of his driveway. It says, no trespassing. I have a gun and a backhoe. <laughs> Figure it out. Uh, in other words, he can take care of you. And not in a good way. He'll uh, take care of you if you're a problem. So, that's about all I need to say in the video, I think. Uh, hopefully you understand what I'm saying. Um, you know, the Civil War that's coming to this country, like I said, it, it starts out right now with uh, good people everywhere just saying, no, the, you know, our polite manners that we've had, those have been taken advantage of, and it's not right. It's not right that people have taken advantage of good people. You know, people like you and me that just want to work and be left alone, you know, uh, the old saying goes, you know, uh, I'm growing a good crop back here of lettuce alone. <laughs> you know, uh, yeah. Um, you know, we just want to be left alone, left to work and, and worship the Lord in our own way and whatever. I mean, that's been America. But now you have these psychotic people that want to come in and say, oh, we're overthrowing America. Understand, we are at war. We've been at war for a while. The cultural war and um, we have to fight uh, they're not content to you know live and let live they're not content to just say hey you know what um, we can uh, agree to disagree and whatever people have their beliefs and things no these um, leftist communist devils are coming in and uh, I mean, they're the ones that are doing the majority of things. I realize that there's problems with some alt-right groups and things as well. But the, the left, 
that's where the problems are right now. You know, you have to be okay with perversion. You can't speak against it. You have to be okay with all these other things and people can, you know, identify as whatever they want to now. And we're progressive, so we're okay with crime. And uh, police officers aren't allowed to do their job. You know, it's wrong for a police officer to make a guy, you know, submit they are kneeling down on his back and he says i can't breathe oh it's a terrible horrible thing which there's so many issues with that whole george floyd thing a lot of people say it didn't even happen it was all staged you know i mean it happened but in the sense of just acting but uh some interesting theories on that that he's actually still alive a lot of people were talking about that but that's another issue um but that's bad but then burning cities down is okay you know well, that, those are those are protests. No, it's terrorism. Uh, domestic terrorism. When you're burning cities down and destroying people's homes and businesses and things, that is terrorism. Is what it is. Uh, I mean, let's just call it what it is. But um, you know, we we just have to get to a point where we say, okay, I'm not okay with this stuff. And if the police are being forced to stand down, then I have no choice. You're pushing me up against the wall here. I have no ch other choice but to fight. And to say, uh, I'm not going to be putting this on video. You know, a lot of people probably wanted to see me confronting the people that came back onto my land. You know, oh, you should have taken a video of it, brother. I'm not taking a video of it. Because I'm not going to be subject myself to the uh, judgments of mentally ill people that would be sitting in a jury or on the internet or something calling for my arrest because of what I've done. You know, another issue is that Kyle Rittenhouse thing, that young man that had to shoot people that were coming at him. And, you know, people on the left, oh, that's terrible. He should be put in prison for that. It was, it was self-defense, clearly self-defense. But, you know, you can't do that. That's not right. Should have had the police there. The police are the only ones qualified. Yeah, but the police, when they come, they're not even allowed to do their job. So, America, right now, hey, the Lord says, uh, I'm coming back today. I'm coming back right now. Um, you know, see here in September, the, the Revelation 12 sign or something. That people are still bringing that up. It's just a bunch of nonsense. I debunked it years ago. But the Lord's coming back. Uh, don't worry about that stuff. I'm going to be caught up to be with the Lord, and uh, which is what the Bible teaches. Again, I've done the doctrinal studies to prove that for years. I've got you know lots of studies out there on it. Uh, if you don't understand it, well, you need to research it more and watch hours of sermons and not just you know some propaganda film that came out by a trad cat or something against the rapture. Oh. Uh, so don't, don't insult me in the comments. Don't be an idiot. Uh, I do know what I'm talking about on that issue. Um, but the Lord's going to catch us up uh, here real soon. So don't worry about it. Okay. Well, then forget it. It doesn't matter. But um, we're going to be here for a few years yet. We have to do something to preserve the system of peace. Uh, Christians fought over the years. Christians weren't just pacifistic and let's just accept it as it is. We live in a fallen world and let's just go along with whatever happens. It doesn't matter, we can be killed. No, uh, that's not right. Shouldn't be that way. We have to stand up for what's right. You see people sinning, you just, you know, again, you're at a store sometime, you see somebody stealing, what do you do? Well, the Bible says thou shalt not steal, but I don't want to offend them and whatever because there's cameras everywhere and I don't want to get in trouble. So, America needs a major shock event. America needs to have a very serious uh, amount of war and death um, because there's no other way to bring this nation back. Okay, just as simple as that. People tried to make the Bible easier to understand for people and uh, that didn't work. Let's bring in rock music. That didn't work. Let's give people all that they want, all the debt and everything, have whatever they want. Didn't work. So what do we have? A restart. We need to restart the country. So that is going to be it. Some major things to think about and pray about. Thank you for watching.